Okay, so when we're doing eyeliner, what the idea is, is to give the eye a lift. So one thing that's really important, if you're a makeup artist or doing it on yourself, it's my ponytail question that you'll hear me ask throughout this whole eye series. It's where do you like your ponytail to sit? If you're going to do a really tight one, do you like it to lift up, which is 90% of the people, or do you like your ponytail to come out? which I find when people like to do that to their eyes, what they're saying is they want their eyes further apart. So I'm gonna show you a really, really simple eyeliner fact that's gonna change your life. Whenever you do eyeliner on the top, you've gotta to be careful that that line cannot be too rounded. And if you make an eyeliner round, you're causing what I call, what I call the McDonald arches. These little, big little M's, so what comes up, comes down. I find the best eyeliner that works really on everybody is liner that just you do on the outer third of your eye. If you just concentrate here and extend, your eyes look more open, more youthful, and bigger. Okay, so these are traditionally most the common eye shapes that we deal with. These illustrations done by Luke, thank you Luke. Um, only thing that changes is the lines around the eyes and how heavy the eyebrow bone is. Um, that's where that part of the skin is there, which is great because it, this is going to work no matter what. So when you want to do an eyeliner, you want to know where the highest point of your top eyelid is. So if you're sitting at home, look straight ahead and mark it. Now you could be right in the middle, you can be slightly off center. If your height is here, that means you'll tend to have a bit of a droop on the eye. Okay, so here's a basic theory. You want your flick to be the same height as the highest point of your eye if you want to lift your eyes. If that point is lower, it still will look beautiful, but it might look a bit sleepier, not as lifted. And what I love to do is from point A to B, you put your flick in first, we're gonna do this all on the eye in a moment, and from B to A, I like that to have a little curve. The thicker you make this section, this little triangle, the more your eyes lifted. So what I want you to do is all this is going to be done with the eyes open. So basically, here's an eye that's quite tricky to have eyeliner on. Let's say that's the nose there, where the eye lifts and then droops down. So if you do an eyeliner all the way across, I don't know why I've got a green pen, I apologize. If you do an eyeliner all the way across like that, you're going to cause a droop. And if your eyelid's heavy, all you're going to see the ticks. So what we're going to do, so in all these eye shapes, the height of the eye is in a different spot, okay? Each eye, it slightly changes. So here's your flick. So this eye, the liner is going to stop before it gets there. You, it, the, the reason we do this, if you go to the highest point, you actually cause a droop. So this eye here, because it's more rounded on top, the flick will be bigger. Come in, disappear. This eye here, because it's not so rounded, you don't have to go as high. So this is a, I'm gonna show you a much easier way to make, this eye is quite tricky actually. This is more like a monolid eye shape. I actually work upside down. We're gonna do that whole lesson coming up soon on my little eyelids, how I do it. With the eye that has that droop again, needs to come high, disappear. Same thing again, disappear. So that's, that's basic rule one. And what that will do is when you do that, it just gives the eye the shape. It's when you come in here, the problems can start. You can make your eyes too close together. You can cause a droop, blah, blah, blah. So if in doubt, if you want to do my eye eyeliner, I do the outer third. But here's even a better trick. If you want to lift your eyes, it's what you do under your eyes that gives you the lift. It's where all the power comes from. So I'm going to show you a foolproof eyeliner and guess what it is? You're going to do it from the under eye line, not the top. And let me just show you what that looks like. The rule normally is, is you follow the shape of the bottom eyelid. Yes, but only sometimes. We'll get to that in a second. So if you do an eye line that you follow through here, what it does, it gives you maximum pull. So now when you take that onto the top lid, and again, make sure it disappears before the high point, you have this incredible lifted eye, and this is what works with hooded eyelids. Because if you have a hooded eyelid, like this, you're not gonna see the flick. You know you do your eyeliner so perfectly, and then you go like that, you've got like two flicks, you don't see it. Okay, so let's come to all these eye shapes. 
So yes, we're going to follow the natural line of the bottom lid, pull it up, and then just come into that outer third. The only time this does not work, see, see how the bottom eyelid's a bit straighter? So you can go a little bit straighter. It works every time because you're pulling the eye from underneath. Like I always say, if you want to lift, it's what you do under that counts. The only time I don't follow this rule is if your bottom eyelid's quite rounded. You get what I call the letter W. You get the eyes that look even heavier because I'll show you. So if you've got this rounded shape and you do this really awesome flick up like that, and you've got two eyes doing that, you actually get, you actually emphasize the droop. So remember, the droopier or heavier you are here, the more you want to straighten the angle. Now, it's a lot to take in, but if you're doing your own eye, we're going to break it down simple. But if you're a makeup artist, you have to know all this because that's why it's taken me 20 years to learn my craft. Um, okay, so it's really important. So again, let's do this from the bottom. And this eye here, because it really rounds up, let's be really careful. Okay, so let's now go on to Courtney and we'll take you through this process. 